Hello, friends and allies, and welcome to the Cradle of Monster quest. We are here at mission 6. We are just to the east of uh, Aletta, and we are about to start uh, the mission 6, the collection container. And in this room, there are a couple of mechanics to be holding in your head, which I am explaining to my very good friend Donos right here. So we have three tubes. Uh, blue tube, green tube, and red tube. Uh, <laughs> wow. Um, did I think that through? Okay. Um, so we're gonna fill them up equally quick. So they all need to uh, get to the point of 50 rather equally. But they are unequally quick to be increasing in value. Um, so what we need to do is even it out. So we're gonna enter the room and the first thing which we're gonna notice is, is which one of the tubes are quicker counting up. Uh, when we notice that uh, one of them is quicker we're gonna focus to increase the value of the other two. And how do you increase the value? Well you have some um, containers to the south which you can be pushing towards the north. Or you can kill the monsters spawning close to the tube and then you can push uh, the container to that spot instead uh, and you also have this uh, spot in the, mi the middle the collection container and if that were to be increasing to the value of 100 you also lose so you can be one to five people making this i have tried making it solo but i have failed so i recommend that you are at least two people making this and when you are killing the monsters make sure that you're close to the tube which you need to be filling up because the tube which you are getting is random so if you were like this time you were killing a monster and you got red but you are at the blue spot don't even bother pushing it it's better to just be killing the monster again in my opinion and if one person is focusing on killing, the other one can be pushing from the south to the north. Anyhow, make sure that the three tubes are rather equal uh, in value and you will be just fine. And remember, they are unequally uh, counted how quickly they get points normally. So you, you, you will just focus the one which is lowest and gets the minimum amount of points. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah Yeah, straight to the face and I wanna get lost 
So, we are finally done with the mission. So now I'm just gonna say hi mission to Aletta, just because that's what you tend to do. But I believe that's not necessary. We're gonna start mission 7 now, which is find Kaya. And here we're gonna go one floor below and we're gonna run out to the north. And here we're gonna pick up a letter. So, just be running here to the north and then you will be heading a little bit east and then south. And when you arrive to the embassy Ivora, you're just gonna say hi mission and you will be getting yourself a uh, letter which you will be bringing to Kralos and that is the reason why we will be needing um, access to the DP of Kralos. And when we are close to be getting to the DP, we're just gonna say to the NPC, hi, Ivora. And then we have um, given the message to Kaya, and we are ready to be returning to where we just got the letter. So, as I said, you just run back to the NPC Ivora, and here you just go high mission. And then we are ready to move on towards mission 8, which is the Hazard Golem. To make this mission, you need to be at least two, but I believe that three is recommended. So, this is our goal, and that is to get a golem from the west towards the center. And then we have succeeded. And this is a quest where you pretty much need to be on a Discord or a TeamSpeak to be succeeding. Because the other guy will be telling me what to be pulling and I will simply just pull it at the correct moment. Uh, so we have an energy field, a fire field, an ice barricade and you also have a couple of blades. Uh, but let's start with the beginning. Uh, we want to summon a golem and to summon a golem we need some golem parts. So we need to kill three golems and then we need to push it towards that drop door and then the golem here will be spawning and then you see the energy field here to the right and when I see the energy I need to press the shield so it doesn't take damage from the energy and then I need to press the boots to give it some speed and when it comes to the ice barricades then I will press the fire portal one and as you can see, there are a small learning curve. Um, and the ice golem also takes damage when it kills the ice barricades. So you actually need to spawn at least four uh, of these golems to make sure that the ice barricades are removed. Because they take damage from it. And the other guy needs to tell you what you need to be pulling. So like I said, if the golem is about to walk over the energy field, you, you press, press the shield ladder. 
And if it's about to walk over the fire, you uh, press the bucket of water. If it's a nice barricade, you use the fire portal. And if it's about to move over the blades, uh, the one to the right need to move on that specific spot to be removing it. And um, since you can't see anything, you need to be told what to be pressing. And between all of these um, things, you will always need to push the boots in between to make sure that it has some speed. And in, an important thing to notice is, is that you can't have... Um, uh, two things pushed at the same time, so you need to um, take it take it away when you want to push it, something else. So you only need to succeed with one golem in total, and it took us like 11 minutes because it was on our first try. So it had some, like I said in the beginning, some learning curve, but we managed. So. Now are we finally done with the golem mission and we are ready to move towards mission 9. And here we're gonna make a potion uh, which we can be um, gathering supplies down here. But first we need to have a spoon with us and that can be found on the lowest floor to the north as well in one of the containers. Uh, anyways, uh, let's start with uh, gathering some fresh hydra herbs which will be found uh, on uh, minus five to the north. We need to make five potions in total. That's why we also need five fresh hydro herbs, which can be collected in this area. And when we have all five collected, we can start with um, the next um, thing to collect. But here's a map of where you can find the items. And on all floors you can find empty potions, like here to the south. Uh, there are some weird cooldown, so I don't really know the amount uh, the cooldown is in total, but you need five. Uh, and they can be found on all floors and they share the same cooldown. And here to the northeast corner on the lowest floor, we will be finding ourselves an egg cracker. And don't forget to have your spoon with you. Uh, so in total we need the fr fresh hydro herbs, we need um, empty flasks, we need uh, the egg cracker and we need a spoon. So we're gonna be running right here to some eggs and there we're gonna use the egg cracker on the eggs and um, then we're gonna use the spoon on the eggs and we're gonna get a potion. And now we're gonna run to one floor above us and we're gonna use the empty flask on one of the orange red containers. Uh, we're gonna fill it up to a nutrient solution. And there we have it. So we're gonna put all uh, three ingredients into the golden uh, uh, suspicious cauldron right here. And there we go. We have one blue potion the anti-mutagen and you need to repeat this five times in total and after you have done so you just report it back to Joffrey and then we are done with this mission and you are ready to face the boss